Recently, I learned three new things that changed the way I think about hero skins, and I'm also going to tell you what I used to do wrong in my old skin ranking videos and how that has changed now. The first thing I learned, it's not super profound, and as a matter of fact, none of these things are super profound, but I just started sketching, and these things seem to make a lot more sense when you sketch them out. And this is a graph of awesomeness. So the higher up on this graph, the more awesome things are. So I would say this right here is the default Barbarian King skin or Archer Queen skin, whatever. This is just the default model. It's kind of low on the level of awesomeness. So any hero skin to be considered a good hero skin should be at least a little bit more awesome than the default skin and the higher up on the awesomeness scale obviously the better skin it is so i did look back at the skins to see if any of them were not more awesome than the default skin and i don't think any of them are the fierce king cuts it close but he is still just above the default skins. There are a number of things that contribute to a skin being more awesome. And in my early skin ranking videos, I only talked about three things. I talked about the design, the animations, and the sound effects. So those were the only three things that I talked about when I talked about skins. And this is where I was wrong because there's one more thing. There's a fourth thing that makes up a hero skin that I never considered before. A hero skin can be divided into four things. The first one is just the plain design of the skin. That's the first part of the skin and the probably the biggest part of the skin. The second part are the animations. The animations probably the second biggest part of the skin. The third part are the sound effects, which I talked about. Those were one of the things that I considered when talking about skins. And the fourth part was something I sort of tied into animations, but it's actually different. They're close to animations, but they're actually different. These are visual effects, mostly fire effects, but there's a lot of other visual effects that these skins have, which are totally separate from the animations and the way the skin moves. These are effects that kind of add to the skin and add to the animation. So when I kind of thought about this and that there's visual effects, I can really now look at these skins differently and separate all four of these things and use that to rank skins and review the skins. And while there are four parts to a hero skin, there's one part that contributes to the majority of the skin. And I look back at the polls that I did and there seems to be one big part to a skin out of these four parts that contributes to whether people consider this to be a good skin or not. So I started plotting this graph and this graph basically had two sides. It was the objective parts of a skin. This is the design, animation, sound effects, visual effects, but then there's subjective side of the graph, which is people's opinions on the design, animation, sound effects, visual effects, whether they liked it or not. So I was going to plot points on this graph to basically see whether the objectiveness of a skin correlated with the subjective rankings that people had, but there was really no real correlation between the subjective and the objective of a skin. I was gonna see whether skins with way more animations and sound effects, visual effects, were better than the skins that did not have them. And based on this, there is sort of a correlation, but you really can't say for sure whether the animation sound effects and how many they have correlate to how good a skin is. So this was really eye-opening because in general, I would think that people would enjoy skins that have more effects, but there's really nothing that shows that. And this is a rough graph, but this is basically my conclusion that I came to, and this is generally what the graph would look like. There are so many things to know about hero skins, and I made a list of 10 things that you might not know. That's the video on the screen right here, and it really, really wants you to click it.